YouTube. This is Sip Chick. Um, just wanted to give you a brief update. I'm sorry if I'm not uh, sounding as chipper as I normally am, but I'm getting over a some type of upper respiratory infection slash stomach virus. I don't know what the heck it is. It started about two days ago, and uh, started with a weird cough. So you're thinking cough? There's no symptoms other than the cough. Oh my God! Is it a uh, pulmonary uh, embolism? Because that's one of the symptoms, but I just got kind of paranoid. But then the next day, I, I was coughing, and then I could hear like the congestion rambling around in there. So I knew then it was a chest cold. But then I had at the same time, which I'd never had before, I had um, body aches, like all over. I just hurt everywhere. It was just weird. I'm like, what is this? And I was talking to my mom about it, and she got worried. She said, you got the flu. You need to go to the doctor. I'm like, no, it's not even, you know, I don't have any chills or anything. No, you don't know what it is. I'm like, okay. Stubborn me, I still didn't go to the doctor. Because, I guess because I felt like it got better the next day, which was today. And she called to check on me. Dad. Did you go to the doctor? Did you go to the doctor? I'm like, no. Why didn't you go to the doctor? Because it, the symptoms change each day. And I'm, I hate to be that, that person that's a hypochondriac and jumps to conclusions and then ends up being something really minute, you know. But since the symptoms kept changing every day, I, I just thought I, I was fine. And that's what I normally do. When I have a cold or something each day, the symptoms don't stay the same. So that's pretty much my um, theory on it. That's how I handle all my colds and little quirky ailments and stuff like that. Now, if it stayed the same for several days, then I would have went to the doctor. But anyway, I finally mustered up the energy to go to Kroger and get um, some uh, uh, items that I needed for uh, week three. I'm now going into week three, and I'll just give you my pitiful stats. I have not lost a pound since the surgery. I'm still hovering at 240. Um, I did lose a few pounds after the the stomach incident, but I don't think I should count that. I think that was just fluid, and it's probably going to come back once I, I'm able to retain, you know, I'm not, like, running to the bathroom every five minutes or whatever, which hasn't been for a few hours now. So. Anyway, so no no real progress to really report on that, on that, um, that topic. Okay, so semi solids and liquids, <clears throat> week three. Okay, so some of the things I had to buy, and pardon me for looking down, looking out at my patients that I have here from the Gymnastic uh, Clinic that I um, go to. Um, uh, strain and puree soup, broth, low fat cream based soups, which I've been doing in uh, phase, <coughs> me, week two. I'm not talking to you. Um, uh, strain Greek or plain Greek yogurt, and I got Greek yogurt. So each, as I go through these, I'll show you each one I have. Now I do have uh, actually I never I never even tried this one, but I had another one that I was using the um pureed uh, cream based soup. I think I showed this last time. I still hadn't eaten it yet. I had some other ones that I had that I bought the Campbell's cream of chicken with herbs. Okay, so, and then what they want you to do is stir baby food, baby food meat into the soup to increase your protein. Alright, so that's that. Okay, um, the light, low fat, strain yogurt or plain Greek yogurt. I got, I've had Chobani, I hope I pronounced that right, before. I used to love the, the pineapple Chobani, but I know I can't have it right now because of the fruit and it has to be, everything has to be super smooth, like creamy based or, um, applesauce consistency so and you have to get the plain Greek yogurt and that's what I got plain 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 Jane <laughs> Greek yogurt no flavor no vanilla nothing just plain yogurt that's gonna I don't know I may like it who knows but this is these foods are just to start your Gradual, I guess, I guess you call it graduation towards regular food. So, anyway, so I'll see how that goes. I'm going to start eating these tomorrow. Um, the next one was, um, 
Oh, I left it in my cupboard. Um, the uh, hot, the strain, um, <coughs> sorry, um, cream of wheat or cream of rice cereal. I'm kind of reluctant to eat that because it's got so many carbs in it. But if I do decide to eat it, I do have some in my cupboard and it's instant. So that's, that's pretty to me. And I like cream of wheat. Um, low fat, 1% cottage cheese or ricotta cheese. So, I hate cottage cheese. Well, before the search, I knew I hate it. I don't like cottage cheese. I don't like it. It's lump, it's lumpy. It's, it's anyway. But I remember when I was, when I used to make lasagna, I like ricotta cheese. So I don't know how I'm gonna really, this is Kroger brand. And I'm not an advocate for Kroger or anything, but that's just the closest book to go to me. Um, and I also go, to Food Lion, um, that's just the, the grocery stores um, available in our region in the southeast. And this one, um, it looks like it has three carbs, three sugars, and I mean, according to this list, this is this is approved. So, and I'm not gonna worry about you know it, it's the low fat ricotta cheese like they you know require on this list. So I'm not gonna. Um, to uh, pick me over, oh, it's got three cards or whatever, so apparently it must be okay. All right, so let's talk about, um, you said protein fortified cooked and mashed or pure pureed potatoes. I don't feel that great about eating potatoes. This has got a ton of carbs. I don't know why they would even, even just eating potatoes. I didn't get them. I didn't get any uh, potatoes. But I did get, um, let's see, non-gas forming veggies like carrots, squash, green beans, or peas. Okay, so this is what I did. I went and I got the um, Gerber um, Second Food is the level you want for this level. And this is um, carrots. I just said on the list. I got carrots. I got squash, I got peas, you see that, peas, and I got green beans, alright, so I got all four of those, I don't know how I'm going to like them, and I know it's going to take me forever to eat any one jar of this, excuse me, any one jar, <clears throat> because you can't fit, you know, this is going to be different because liquids, I can, I can almost down liquids like, almost like I could before, which kind of worried me, but apparently liquids go down a lot easier than regular solid food. So I guess that's why they tell you not to drink at the same time you're eating because it makes the food go down quicker and you end up feeling hungrier faster. So. Alright, so I'm at eight minutes now. Let me go ahead and uh, try to wrap this up. Um, um, stage two, um, Gerber stage two, chicken, ham, turkey, or beef. So I'll just briefly show you these. Um, this is beef, beef gravy. Okay. This beef. I got turkey. And these jars, just to give you an idea how big they are, and how much food is in them, these, the meat ones are about two and a half ounces. And the vegetables are, <coughs> excuse me, four ounces. Okay, so I got the beef, I got the uh, turkey, and I got ham, ham and ham gravy. It sounds delicious, but I bet it, I, I have a similar for me, bro. Um, and chicken and chicken gravy. So what, what I plan to do is mix this chicken and chicken gravy. So they say they want you to mix the, mix the baby food with the soup to give you the protein. With the cream of chicken and herbs. That's what I'm planning to do with that one. The other ones, I have no idea what I'm going to do. But I'll update you on ways that I've doctored up baby food. It's not really that, I don't know. It's going to be a challenge. But the, the good part is that this phase only lasts a week. 
And then I graduate to uh, uh, soft food. Okay, so right now this is the puree stage. Okay, another thing I have over here that they require is um, mashed pinto beans. So I got, I tried to get the most bland pinto beans I could find because a lot of them have a lot of sodium. And I'm one where I, I retain water like a spoon. If there's a grain of salt in anything, I will gain like five to ten pounds. So I'm trying not to add any extra sodium if I can help it. Um, another one, another option. This has, I think, this has a lot of sodium too. Well, not that bad. Let me get 15 milligrams. Um, this is the um, Athena hummus. Sorry, and I got roasted garlic and I got plain. Just in case I don't like the garlic, because they say your taste buds change after the surgery. So just in case I don't like it, I have another one <coughs> that I can try to eat. All right, so there you have it. This is a uh, week three, similar solids and liquids. Just want to let you know the type of um, foods that I'm eating each week. Um, I just want to um, provide guidance to those out there who um, are just you know, kind of baffled on what, what do you even eat after bariatric surgery? What stages do you go through? Um, I think it's important to, to let everyone know what to expect rather than just jump into regular food because you don't know the preliminary. You don't know, well, what did this person do all those weeks before they started eating food or did they just jump into eating regular food again? Um, typically, no, you don't. Well, they don't, the bariatric surgeons do not recommend that you just jump into eating regular food again until probably the sixth week, I guess. So, some of the videos I don't really, um, haven't really seen people document like what they eat, like right after surgery, what the heck you do, what, what to expect. Um, <clears throat> well, for me, I have not experienced any vomiting or anything diarrhea other than today and i think that might have been a stomach bug so um, other than that i haven't had any kind of complications um so this next phase is, is, i'm kind of kind of nervous about it because it's actual food but i will definitely document what happened i won't show anything <laughs> that happens but i will let you know what i have experienced um each, you know, with each type of food that I'm graduating to. And if you have any questions, if I've left anything out, or anything you're curious about, you can email me at sipchick at gmail.com and that's S-I-P-P-E-D-C-H-I-C-K at gmail.com. Until next time.